What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my 99 overall offensive threat build. If you guys take a look at my attributes, I have 94 close shot, 89 driving layup, 87 driving dunk which is good enough for contact dunks, 62 standing dunk and 87 post hook which I don't really need but I just did it so I could get 21 finishing badges on this build. Then for shooting, I have an 88 mid range, 87 3 which is really good with the hall of fame shooting badges, a 92 free throw, a 94 post fade which sounds bad on a guard but it's actually really good for me because I was a playmaking post scorer last year so I have a lot of skill with post moves and then with my playmaking I have 85 pass accuracy 86 ball control which is good enough to speed boost and 87 post moves and the defense I didn't really upgrade much I didn't upgrade anything except for the perimeter defense lateral quickness and I put the rest of the points to the steal and that's because this isn't even my main player I'm mainly gonna use this player for mixtapes and whenever I don't have a guard to run with I'll just run the guard on this build so this build is strictly offense not much defense at all and I also have 93 speed 86 acceleration 75 strength 81 vertical and 99 stamina and if you're wondering why the strength is so high it's because I chose the most balanced pie chart which is the very bottom one I chose it because I wanted strength for contact dunks on this build and as you can see I am still pretty fast for the badges on this build I have 21 finishing and shooting 17 playmaking and only one defense for the finishing badges, I chose Hall of Fame Acrobat, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Giant Slayer, Slowly Finisher, and then Back Down Punisher Bronze, which helps because I have 87 post moves and a 94 fade, so I can actually body other guards in the paint because of my 75 strength as well. So it's pretty easy to score in the post when I need to, but I don't really use that too much. For the shooting, I've been trying out a bunch of different badges. I used to have Quick Draw Silver. I put it to Hall of Fame now. I feel like it's a lot better. With Deadeye, it used to have that gold. I put it to Hall of Fame. And Difficult Shots, I had Hall of Fame, but I just put it down to Bronze because it is a very good badge but it's not super useful because I don't take that many fades I've just been trying out a bunch of different badge combos I even tried catch and shoot hall of fame which sounds like it's pretty good but honestly it was not very good for me I didn't really notice much of a difference with my shooting so yeah I've just been changing my badges up I think this is what I'm gonna stick with for now I just gotta get used to my release with hall of fame quick draw but that badge is crazy for my playmaking badges, I've been switching them up a little bit. I tried downhill, it's not that good of a badge. It's basically what one man fast break was last year. I haven't tried needle 30 yet. I've tried stop and go gold, it's pretty good. I might honestly put that back on. But for my badges, I just chose gold, ankle breaker, handles for days, quick first steps, base creator, and tight handles, and unpluckable silver. Because I feel like unpluckable isn't all that good of a badge. So I just put that one silver and the rest of my badge is gold. And for my one defensive badge, I've been switching between clamps, pick dodger, and intimidator, just seeing which one is best. And I originally thought that Intimidator would be the best because shot contest, but Clamps, even when it's bronze, helps me stay in front of my man a lot better than without the badge. Now for my animation. So if you guys want to know my jump shot, make sure to click the card in the top right. There's a video that will take you there. Or if you want to just wait till the end of the video, make sure to go to the bottom of the description. For my free throw, I have Kobe Bryant. I've been using that since NBA 2K16, so I can time it really easily, get a green pretty much every time. For my dribble pull up, I have Athletic 5 on right now, but I've been trying two three six and seven as well as five and i honestly don't know which one is the best i used to have three on because that's what i had on in nba 2k19 i might try that again because i did try it with silver quick draw and it wasn't good it was too slow but with hall of fame quick draw it might be good so i'm not sure what the best dribble pull up is but i think i'm gonna stick with five or three now going on to the spin jumper i think normal four and normal eight are the best ones normal four is very slow but it somehow creates a lot of space and normal eight it's a little bit faster so i think it's better for me for hop jumpers, I have normal 19 on. It's not the best, but it does have a double step back animation, and it has an animation where your player brings the ball behind his back right there, as you can see. So it's not the best, but it is flashy. That's why I like it. But also, normal 15 is pretty good. It is a very fast animation, and normal 14 makes you jump super far. And normal 2 is actually the one I used in NBA 2K19 for some of the time. So I would just try out normal 2, 14, 15, 19, see which one you like best, and stick with that one. I think 14 creates the most space and 15 is the fastest so those are probably the best two here but for now I'm going to stick with normal 19. When it comes to post fades, fade 3 is easily the best, it's been the best since NBA 2K19 and when it comes to post hook I just have 3 on, I really don't do post hook so it doesn't really matter. For post hop shots I would say the best one is post hop shot 1, 7, 8, and 10. I think 1 and 7 are the best but I like 1 a lot more than 7. I used 7 for most of the year in NBA 2K19 and it was very good but that was before I tried out post hop shot 1 so I would just try out 1 and 7 and if you don't like that then I would try out 8 and 10 see which one you like best and when it comes to post shimmy fade and post shimmy hook I just have 3 on those don't really matter that much. 
For my dribble moves, I have the Kyrie Irving dribble style and the Pro 3 size up package. For the moving crossovers, I have Pro 2 on, but I also think 3, 7, and 8 are good. 3 is kind of like 2, it's a little bit slower, and I like speed in my crossovers, so I think Pro 2 is better than 3. And 8 also creates a lot of space, it's like a wide crossover, which makes it a little bit slower. And then Pro 7 is also wide and slow, so these are good crossovers, but I think 2 isn't as wide, so because of that, it is a much faster animation, so that's why I use Pro 2. For the behind the back, I used to use Pro 3 until maybe 2 or 3 days ago. I've been trying out Pro 6. These are both very good behind the backs. Pro 3 is a much faster animation than Pro 6, but I think Pro 6 creates a lot more space, so I'm just going to try out both of these, see which one I like better, but for now, I'm going to stick with Pro 6. For moving spins, the best two are Basic 1, because there's a cheesy animation you can get out of that, and then Pro 4, but I think Pro 4 is a lot more consistent, so because of that, that's what I'm going to use. For moving hesitation, I used to have Pro 2 on. It is very slow, but if you can use it the right way, and if you have stop and go gold, it's very good. But without stop and go, I feel like Pro 2 is not that useful. So I just decided to use Pro 5 because you could shoot right out of it and it's really fast. And I don't know if this matters as much, but I do use the normal 2 triple threat style. For my layup package, I use Russell Westbrook because I think it's the best layup animation for slashers since you do get a ton of contact layup animations. For my dunk packages, I have Jordan Kilgannon. I used to have the Michael Jordan one, but honestly, that's a very bad dunk package in my opinion. It does have the free throw line dunk, which is really good, but it has cradle dunks, which I don't like. I feel like those get blocked easily. And it has some reverse dunk animations that are pretty slow, so I just took Michael Jordan off. Then I have windmill reverses. Clutch reverses off one, straight arm tomahawk and side arm tomahawk. Both of these are really good animations to have. Same with baseline reverses off one. And I feel like front clutches and quick drops off one hardly ever get blocked. So that's why I have those. And then for my last few dunk packages, I have athletic one-handers off one, basic two-handers off one, and rim grazers off one. Honestly, I could just take these off right now and be fine. But I just keep them on for when I do conservative dunks because they don't really get blocked. And down here at the bottom, I have pro alley-oop, elite alley-oop. Pro contact dunks, elite contact dunks, and the small contact dunks. And when it comes to my other badges, I actually have Alpha Dog. I don't know how I even got that badge. And then I have the Gym Rat badge. You just get this badge by winning a championship. So that one's pretty easy. And it gives you, I think, plus four to all your physical attributes, like speed, acceleration, stamina, all those. And the two park badges I have are Iron Wall and Screen Crusher. Also, I almost forgot to say, this build is a shooting guard. It is six foot five. And it is max weight just so I can get a ton of strength on this build for contact dunks. And I still have 93 speed. So honestly, I think with any build that can get contact dunks, max weight is definitely the move. And I do have shot creator takeover. If you guys want to see my win percentage, here it is. It's not the best, but it's definitely not horrible. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to see some more gameplay with this build. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.